What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. So, we did our initial hands-on video letting you guys know iOS 17 Beta 3 was now available, but now we want to give you guys a side-by-side -side comparison from iOS 16 Betas to iOS 17 Beta 3, uh, and really talk about some of the small but updated features that are applicable in these builds. So, first things first, this is probably in relation to the complaints, I guess you can say, that people were having with Apple Card savings accounts. Let's go ahead and get right into it. And if you jump in the wallet app and actually go to your savings account, when you go to withdraw money, um, what happens is in the new beta build, there is some new verbiage that's telling you how long it takes to get your money out. So currently, if you transfer to Apple Cash, it's always been instant, right? But if you transfer to a bank account, there is new verbiage here that says funds are typically available for withdrawal by the fifth business day and are subject to the deposit account agreement. Whereas previously, if you actually go and do the same thing, you can see the verbiage here says transfers typically take one to three business days. So you can see in relation to people complaining with how long it takes to get money out, that is a new change there. It is now saying five days instead of one to three. Aside from these changes, that's all for the Apple Wallet. But in Photos, you now have an update to your deleted photos category. And as you can see, we're in recently deleted here. And what it used to be, you would have these two options on the side that said delete and recover. Now, if you actually jump into the album, you're going to have a different option. Okay. Well, interestingly enough, the dots have disappeared. You did actually at one point, actually up until I recorded this video, had a new option here that actually just said delete and recover combined down. That is very interesting, literally the first time we're seeing it, so it is back in line with how it was prior. So no changes there after all. That must have been a server side change. Mental well-being is another one that kind of got a little bit of a facelift here. There is nothing major to it just aside from, <clears throat> excuse me, some color changes in the app itself. We're not going to jump into it, but the colors have changed on the buttons and the background. Uh, they now all match the same color patterns that you were seeing earlier. Um, one of the quote-unquote larger changes in this update is in regards to Apple Music. So if you jump into Apple Music now, you actually can see credits. So if you're playing a song or anything like that, you can click on the three dots, and then up top here you can see view credits, and just depending on what those credits might be, you can see them all listed out here. If there's different artists, etc. That is now a new choice that wasn't available prior. If you just went to Apple Music prior, and let's get that pulled up really quick. Let me turn the volume down. You would not have that option at all. So yeah, pretty small update, but yeah, one nonetheless that has been changed here. There was a new splash screen as well in the home app. Obviously, I'm not going to get that because we already went through it, but it kind of gave you a breakdown of some of the new changes here as well. Um, some people are also seeing under the home settings a different privacy and security option. I don't have it yet, so be on the lookout for that if you downloaded the beta for that change as well. One of the, again, smaller tweaks here is if you jump into your text messaging thread, you now have a new photos icon here. It does show the most recent photo. So prior to that, it was just a square image. Now it is actually your most recent photo. Uh, I think that's a nice little touch. Again, just a little quality of life improvement, nothing major uh, to really report on there. One piece that I'm still kind of surprised about, and guys, comment down below and let me know if you guys are experiencing the same thing, but if you jump into settings and then go into, that was actually right there, your iPhone storage, a lot of people had this issue where the system data was taking up a lot of room. It is not fixed here. So in iOS 16, you can see the iOS was taking up almost 10 gigs and the system data was taking up only 8.35, right? 
Well now, currently with iOS 17 still, the system data is still eating up almost 15 gigs of data and 11 gigs on uh, the iOS 17. That's not crazy at all, that's much more realistic to see, but the system data should not be nearing double of what it was in a prior build. Um, kind of surprising there, I'm hoping we get this update pretty soon, but uh, yeah, it's eating up storage still guys, just so you know, there's no way to beat around the bush on that one. The real last thing I want to talk about, and granted it hasn't been long enough to do a true deep dive into it, is the battery life. So. I'm not sure what it is, but iOS 16 destroyed my battery health pretty substantially and all the betas along with it as well. This is a Pro Max and we're at 89% maximum capacity still, but that is obviously going to hinder this as well. My battery life's been all over the place. I can tell you it is improved so far for the 24 hours or so that we've been using this, but it is by no means where it was in iOS 16. Again guys, it's still a beta, keep that in mind but it is just a call out to be aware of. As far as the heat signature, just from recording this video, I can feel it getting warm again. And one thing that has improved though, is the temperature. It is still warm, but it is not uncomfortably to hold. You can just tell you've been using it for a while, so it is something to be aware of as well. But right now, those are going to be the biggest changes that we found for this beta. A lot more focus has been on stability, as you can assume, um, but we've had no other issues. The only bugs we found, and it's very intermittent, is when you actually pull down the notification shade or try to do a search. Sometimes items weren't coming up. It is working now, though. Again, very intermittent when it happens. Sometimes it would not just pull your search results for what you wanted, but it is working at the moment. So yeah, aside from that, one of the bigger callouts, like we mentioned in our prior video, is that Beta 3 should be the one that's going to be released to the public as well. Now, we could see that as soon as today when this video goes live, or it could be next week, but I don't foresee it being much later than next week. Traditionally, Apple in the past said Beta 3s have been that public beta, and honestly, we're in July, pretty good ways through, we're almost a week through already, and we will be right in Apple's timeline for that public beta release. Beta 3, as much as it has improved, as much as the system fluidity has gotten better, is still not what I would recommend even for a public to use as long as it's not on a dedicated device or their main device. Uh, I still think it's very hit and miss and battery life is still not where a lot of people would want for it to be and I don't know if Apple will actually release it just due to that. Again. Who knows, it is still a beta, Apple has all their disclaimers out there, but just something I wanted to make everyone aware of. So yeah, if you are waiting on the public release, get ready. You should be having it within the next seven days or so. That's all for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. We will catch you in the next one. Peace.